Hey everybody, Jabman025 here. Today I'm taking a look at my 146 Masquerade, the RX78CA Kasval's Gundam version 3.0. This is a P-Bandai kit. For those who don't know, this kit comes from a video game called Gehern's Greed way back in the day on the, I think it was the PS2. And uh, that game surmised, what if Xeon won the war? Well, and what if Char Kasval creates a new Neo Xeon to battle the old Xeon, and in that he flies this thing. Now, this is essentially the 3.0 Gundam with a color swap. That's it. They even give you the same manual. They don't even bother printing a new one. Because it's basically the exact same thing, just with new colors. The only new plate you get is that, a new front piece for the shield, and a new front piece for the waist section that is just to eliminate the stars and the V. There's no star on the shield, there's no V on the front skirt. So they just give you those pieces. New, uh, very small water slide decal sheet. One small instruction sheet that tells you you're only going to use a few pieces from this very dark brown, almost black piece here. You can use as much or as few as you want. I used a few more than what they were, what they told you to use in the manual. Still got a core fighter. Color swap in there. We got the brick red and we got a, like a pink or cherry red if you don't like pink. Or salmon. Whatever. And... Here we go, full up Gundam. Like I said, th those pieces are dark brown. On really close inspection, you can see dark brown, but generally it looks black. Now I use some extra pieces on the forearm, on the back of the leg, on the side skirt that they just want you to use pink, but I just use some of that dark brown because it seemed a shame not to use more of it. I didn't go a whole hog. I could have used all of the pieces and used a lot more dark brown, but eh. To each his own. If you want to use some, great. If you want to use all, great. They do give you core core block rather. Still looks really ugly on the back, but chances are you're not gonna have, never gonna have it in there, or never gonna see on the back when you have it there. Um, you can use the core fighter if you so choose. Now they give you the decals for the copper, you know, on the legs and the arms, and I didn't use any of them. I just thought it looked better. The eyes, they give you yellow stickers. I went with red eyes for a red kit because, sure, why not? Personal preference, you can make them whatever color you want. Accessories, same as the 3.0, just obviously <laughs> color swapped. Uh, pink bazooka, a pink, red, and dark brown for the scope, which I find hideous. Beam rifle. And the shield, like I said, new piece there, does not have the star. You can kind of see the outline of where the star connection was. They just filled it in. Oddly enough, this doesn't fit all that well. It's kind of loose. It wants to pop off a lot. Not the end of the world, but still. And here we have them all decaled up. Like I said, not a lot of decals. We've got the Neo Xeon, RX-78 CA, Gundam. They actually have the word Gundam written on the thing here and on the shield, RX-78 slash CA Gundam. In the video game, the Gundam is like used almost as a propaganda piece. It's mainly Xeon tech that charge flying, but it looks like a Gundam as kind of a rallying flag. We're going to defeat Xeon kind of thing. I did use some of the copper uh, stickers for the thrusters, but barely any. Like I said, this is one of those kits that I didn't even do any lining on this thing. It just looks better plain. It's got such neat color variation, different things to look at. The water slides are nice, but that's really all you need. Accessories, you get the beam sabers also. Um, I got him doing the Hyakushiki pose. Great posability, spread the legs. You do have the same flaws that the 3.0 had. Here you see them against my custom real type 3.0. Still have the same flaws that 3.0 had. Overly complicated build, some parts falling off. Nothing major, just a whole lot of minors. But, like I said, it, you get what. You, this is the 3.0 kit with a color swap. So, all the flaws that I had said about the 3.0 copy and paste for this thing. There's not a whole lot of changes. In fact, there are no changes. That's sort of a color swap. I put them on an action base because I want to do 
the shark kick. Never had a kit po uh, never had a shark kick do the shark kick in a pose. For some reason, it looked good. I like the cover of the box art and that kick. The shield is a pain in the butt to hold. I would really wish they would put a plug in so it can hold in, but it's just got a latch. It doesn't really work all that well. It's one of those poses that if you look from the right angle, it looks really cool. If you look from another angle, it looks really stupid. But like this, pretty cool. Final thoughts on this kit. I'll give it a thumbs up for what it is. If you bought this kit, you kind of knew it was a color swap. It's P-Bandai. I mean, it's expensive. I love the color variations. All the different pinks and reds and dark browns and all the variations. They really do go nuts with the colors. And you can get all sorts of neat looking colors. Accessories are okay. I mean, I've seen much better accessories on other RX-78 kits. The build is a little pain, a bit of a pain and more complicated than it needs to be. Copy, paste, everything I said about the 3.0 Gundam to this thing. It's the same kit. But this kit looks really cool. It's got a neat look. All the color variations, the base going just... What color is it? Red. All the reds. So, good kit. Thumbs up. If you want it and you find it at a decent price, go ahead. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. Hope you found it informative. If you have any questions, please ask them. I will answer them as best as I can. Please stay tuned for more. I always got more reviews coming, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and one more thing. And Char... Kick... Go... Ugh. Oh. How the hell did I do that?